Hello everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you so much for dropping by. Welcome into the studio. Today I have some happy mail to unbox with you. Uh, by the way, it happens to be my birthday today. It is March the 3rd and I don't know if this, when this video will go live since uh, I am behind in, in that process, but I received a package yesterday and I thought it would, I would wait till today, till my, my birthday day to open it with you guys and let's see what I got so I received a uh, package from a plaid the company plaid and uh, as a, I, I assume it's because I'm a, an ambassador for the company uh, that they send me a whole bunch of goodies to work with and of course to uh, help promote the the product help promote the company's products and I gladly do that because I already I've been working with their products for years so uh, I'm very happy to do that so here we go so this is what plaid sent me the first thing I pulled out of the box is this mod podge professional decoupage tools uh, yeah so you get the roller which is the basically a brayer and a little applicator tool or like is that you call a scrubber or something not a scrubber contains brayer and squeegee and a two it's a called a squeegee so uh that's in here so something i do use and like i said i use all their products and plaid does make uh quite a lot of products for the crafter it's it's amazing how many things they make you may know Plaid for making a Mod Podge, which I did get a box in here. I'm going to tip the box over so it'll be easier for me to reach into the box. I don't want everything to fall out. Okay, so as I say that, everything's going to fall out. Okay. Now, as you may know, uh, Plaid is the maker of a Mod Podge something that I use a lot of in my crafting and I have here a jar of the matte Mod Podge so eight fluid ounces so awesome awesome stuff and I want to show you that they also make tools for the crafter so here are some of the brushes that they make uh, and sell and this is the flat brush set it's a set of three and the other set of brushes I got are a set of 10 for, let's say, painting on glass. So some beautiful new products. Again, Plaid sends me these for me to work on my, my projects, uh, my design work that I do when I submit work to uh, publishers, to online publishers, book publishers, uh, when I sell designs to companies to make products and all that. So this is how I get to receive a lot of these free products because I need products to do my work. Uh, and this is also a Mod Podge product. This one, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read it better. Uh, this is Transfer image transfer medium oh cool I didn't have this so this is what they call image transfer medium so basically you can take an image from some like a paper or substrate uh, from something and make an image transfer the image onto a surface let's say you have you just want to transfer the image but it could you have to be careful if you not to transfer it backwards so uh yes so that's what it does so it dries clear and i am very bad at doing image transfer of words i often do it backwards i have got to get a handle on that all right uh next plaid sent me treasure gold i did not have any of this and i'm super happy to have some now Oh, this will be fun to play with. This is a water-based product, but it doesn't look water-based. This is Treasured Gold. And basically, from the samples I've seen at the show, it makes anything. This Look, these are plastic fruit, basically, that were 
painted with treasure gold and it, they look like they're metal now it's amazing this paint just looks like metal and so that's what it is brilliant metallic luster they sent me this is the platinum color and this one is the copper so they basically plan to send me like uh, a variety box of all sorts of products which is really really a lot of fun so it's like a big Christmas stocking some more Mod Podge product uh, a product that I use a lot of and I'm glad they sent me some because I was running low uh, is the Mod Podge uh, Ultra Mod Podge Ultra is basically Mod Podge in a spray Yes, people, a spray. This stuff is amazing to use, especially for my diamond art. That's my favorite way to use this. There's a lot of different ways to use this. Uh, you go, go check out their website. And they have uh, some great, great tutorials on there and project examples of things that uh, artists and designers have made creating with Mod, Mod Podge, uh, the spray one here, and it's really fun. So one of these is matte, and the other one is gloss. That's why there's a different color, similar to what they sell in the jars. So this is matte, this is matte. Spray, brush on. So, and they're not this, they're, they're not the same. So uh, they, this, this is like, it's hard to explain. I want to say it's a diluted version of this, but it's not like they took a lot of water and added it to it and put it in the, it, no, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't work. So yeah, they just, they have their own secret formula to do this. Okay, next I have some apple barrel paints and I think I got, I got a lot of different colors in that one. Apple Barrel is an acrylic craft paint, and so here I have some red, flag red, and I got black. Black is a color I use a lot of, and this is a pretty turquoise. This is not Apple Barrel. This They also make Delta. Delta Ceram Coat is another line that uh, Plaid makes. So I have this, and there's, they also make folk art. So I have some examples of folk art paint, and this one happens to be orange. So lovely orange. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was reading the three languages. I was like, oh, is it orange or orange vif? <laughs> orange vif? <laughs> and now we're jing Never, okay, I won't try to pronounce the third one. That's not good. Okay, and this one is matte acrylic paint. And I see on here, it's a premium all-purpose acrylic paint for decorative crafts and home decor. Superior coverage, exceptional brushability, water-based, non-toxic. Use on all porous surfaces, uh, non-porous surfaces, shake well, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, and why did this, yeah, so see it shows here. You could use it for home decor, you can use it for craft projects. And so I think that's what that little symbol means. I also have some more folk art here. This one is Daybreak. I like the name Daybreak. Real pretty. Oh, this is a beautiful color conch shell. And this is this one is the multi surface. And this one is lavender. Uh, here's another multi surface in lime green. And Another multi-surface in pink melon. Pink melon, I like that color. And, well, I like so many colors. I like all the colors. Uh, Calypso. Ooh, I like the name of that. Oh, that's a pretty color. Calypso. And this is an acrylic paint. And here is baby pink. Isn't that a pretty pink? 
and it's very different from the conch one. See, they're very it's much lighter. And yeah, this one is baby pink, folk art. This one has a matte finish. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's neat. Uh, let's see. Do I have more folk art here? More folk art acrylic. Uh, this one is patina. Oh, that's pretty too. They're all they're all pretty. Here's some more apple barrel and bright yellow. Uh, and here another multi surface folk art paint. So I'm just showing you lots of paint bottles because that is what they sent me. And here I have two. Uh, well, nope, that's the wrong one. I was trying to show you. Okay, two of the pure pigments. I'm so excited. These are a brand new line that they have. They are pure artist pigments, so these are really high quality paints for sure. Uh, they are heavy bodied, highly pigmented acrylic paint. So yeah, a little of this goes a long way, really. This is an amazing uh, product that they have now. So this is really a good quality paint. And I have some brushed metal. They sent me brushed metal in, what color is this? Oh, brushed gold and brushed silver. They're brushed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I could. There's a little difference, yes, between the brushed silver and yeah, and other silver for sure. So this is more of a brushed metal look. Like if you want a more very shiny, you know, metal look, you, this is it. This is that. I would use that, and this would be for more brushed metal look. And here I have something else. This is new to me. Treasure gold. Oh, this is amazing. Brilliant metallic luster. Yeah, this stuff is really beautiful stuff. It's more of a luster. And I think this is the one. Uh, apply, apply in thin, smooth coats, covers. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. So this often looks great on top of a darker color. It's, it's just really, really pretty. This is great if you want to paint like dragonflies. Things like that. It's really, really cool. And some more apple barrel. Bright blue. And let me see. Do I have one more? Uh, apple barrel in white. Yeah, this. I use a lot of white too. So, uh, yeah. I... That's the col that's the one paint that I often have to go to the store to buy. White. Not funny. I, I often run out of white. And oh a rosy beige ceramco. Love to have these colors, these really nice pale colors. Uh, great for doing so many like um, faces to do oh so like even to do when shading and snow. This this is great. Great color for that. And some more Ceramco Tahiti Blue. Tahiti Blue. Ooh. Make, they, these blues make me want to go on vacation. Uh, and here's a purple. Purple. And here's a leaf green. Oh, this is a green that I love to use. This leaf green, really. I love to use this a lot for so many nature style uh paintings so that is awesome so then last but not least i have the variety pack of water based sealer glue and finish so i have a little variety pack of the different different types of mod podge and they call this the starter pack. So I have a bottle of Sparkle Mod Podge. This is so much fun to use. Uh, the gloss, use a lot of that. The matte, use a lot of that. And this one is for outdoor, outdoor Mod Podge. And I have tried it and it does really work. And this one is paper Mod Podge. So this one is uh, great to use 
this this one is especially great to use when you're doing collage work, especially if you're working uh, just just paper on paper. So very nice. So yeah. So if you haven't. Uh, if you don't know anything about Mod Podge and you're wondering if this is something you would like to do, these starter packs are a great way to get to know the different products and uh, find, you know, and then you're wasting less product because if you have small projects to do, you need, you know, you don't waste a lot of product if you just buy something small like this. The other thing I like to do is because there are some of the products that I use more of, I like to keep these little bottles once they're empty and they get empty fast and I like to refill them with from the bigger bottles that I have so I can keep more more variety of product in my in my craft cart that's just what I do it just works so uh, he, this is all my beautiful products that I received uh, from plaid and I want to say thank you thank you Shauna from plaid for sending me all these wonderful products uh, you do take very good care of me and I so so appreciate it and I truly love using uh, all these products and I'm very happy to uh, represent the company for uh, for that so i hope that you enjoyed my happy mail today i probably you probably were bored of watching me google over all these little bottles but uh it, it, it these things make me very happy and i just want to share some happiness with my viewers so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please like please comment share don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, stay crafty. Mm -hmm.